Hi everyone, welcome back to the story time family. How are you? Have you been keeping well? Have you been eating and taking care of yourself? Getting lots of playtime outside? Well, I hope you've settled down and ready to read a book with us. Today we have a fun book called Inch and Grub by Alastair Chisholm and David Roberts. Are you ready? Let's go! Inch and Grub, a story about cavemen. This is Inch. This is Grub. Inch and Grub were cavemen. Inch and Grub lived in caves. Inch's caves was nice, but Grub's cave was bigger. Me have bigger cave than you, said Grub. That make me the best. This made Inch cross. That's not fair, he said. Look, said Inch. Me have cave with water now. Me am best. But Grub rubbed two sticks together and made fire. Ooh, said Inch. Mm-hmm. That's right, fire. Well, you silly caveman sitting on ground, said Inch. Me have made a chair. Only chair, sniffed Grub. Me have made bed. Me have bed too, and walls. Me have a house, said Inch. Pah, said Grub. Me am Bill Castle. Me am Lord Grub. Me have bigger castle, me have castle and tower, said Inch. Me am King Inch, and you bow now. Hm, <laughs> muttered Grub. Me have discovered horses, said Grub proudly. Me can ride horse very fast. Me have horse and carriage, said Inch. Carriage is old and silly, scoffed Grub. Me have train. You have train? No, said Inch. Me have car. Ha ha, me go vroom, vroom, vroom. Grub snapped his foot crossly. Vroom, shouted Inch. And me have shiny buildings, said Inch. Me have skyscrapers, very tall. Me have fancy boat, said Grub. And me have radio. Me can't talk to you now, me am on the phone, said Inch. Me have a plane. Whoosh, shouted Grub. Me have rocket, crowed Inch, and computer, and television. Ooh, said Grub. And on they went, collecting more stuff and forgetting all about their lovely old caves. Satellites and statuettes and submarines and super jets. Until one day, me have silver plated drinking straw, said Inch, and he placed it on the top of his tall, tall pile of things. Me have gold plated drinking straw, said Grub, and placed it on his tall, tall pile. The piles started to wobble. Ha ha, sneered Inch, your pile is wobbling. Ha ha, sneered Grub, your pile is wobbling. Uh oh, 
the itch and grub. Down crashed the piles, down fell the straws, down came the castles and boats and buildings and rockets and radios. Crash, bang, all down on Inch and Grub. Ow, said Inch, holding his head. Ow, said Grub. Inch looked around. All me have left is dust, he said sadly. Me think me was better in cave. Me too, said Grub. This am all your fault, shouted Inch. No, shouted Grub. This am all you. He stopped. This, he said slowly, am all our fault. Grub looked at Inch. Inch looked at Grub. Inch thought really hard. Me have a rock, he said at last. You want to share rock? Yeah, said Grub. And they sat on the rock together. The end. And that was Inch and Grub. Wasn't that such a fun story? It just goes to show that life isn't about things. It's not about expensive, biggest, the fanciest things. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you'd like to own a copy, the link to purchase it is in our description below. Thank you so much for joining us. Do give us a like and subscribe and click on the bell for more fun stories like this. You take care now. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.